Hey guys and gals, it's Cyber Geeks here, and today we're going to be reviewing the Mark II and the Mark III Artificial Intelligence, also known as Jarvis or Lynx. So I've had a lot of people ask me about this, guys. This is a requested video. I'm live streaming it, but this is going to be uploaded as a video on my channel. And we're just going to go over how to install Lynx or Jarvis onto your PC and some of the customized uh, like the customizable options that you can add with the rain meter skin. I've had a lot of people ask me about this and ask me about my desktop and some of the themes that I have uh, over the past couple of months. So we're going to go over that. I'm going to teach you all how to install Jarvis and how to set up custom commands to open directories, etc. So I did attempt this earlier today, guys. I ran into some huge issues with uh, the audio and some huge issues with my encoder for whatever reason it's wanting to max out my cpu so i did a few tweaks today hopefully this will resolve the issue uh, i'm going to go ahead and get the stream set up right now and i'll get links running and booting up while i'm doing that so give me just one moment i'm going to pull up the chat as well so i'll be able to see what you all have to say also for anybody initial else, checks completed anybody backing up the configuration for, uh, PCS, initializing databases Establishing connection to satellite number 96. Rendering main control center. Loading custom components. I am online and ready, say. Enable push to talk, to enable push to talk. Listening disabled. Alright guys, what I was saying is anybody who's uh, waiting for bypass methods to bypass data throttle for Metro PCS, T-Mobile, etc. Um, I'm going to be uploading some more videos on that later on this week. Also, I've seen a lot of comments about people having problems hooking up the PDA net and the FoxFi to... Um, like PS4s and Xbox Ones. There are several workarounds for that, so I'm probably going to release a video tonight. I'll probably live stream on that. So if you're waiting for that information, uh, I would say after this live stream goes off, I'll probably do another live stream just going over that. But getting into Lynx, guys, this is an artificial intelligence that is a computer-integrated voice software uh, that opens directories, plays your music, plays your videos, uh, everything really i mean you can program it to do pretty much anything that you want it is in beta testing this is the mark ii version i am currently working with uh the other beta testers for mark ii and i have been signed as a partner for the mark iii so i'm working on creating the mark iii with the developers <clears throat> and if you all are interested in learning how you can be a part of that and get the mark iii early before it is available to be downloaded stay tuned for the end of this live stream and i'll explain to you all how you can do that but getting into it, guys, I'm going to be leaving all of the links inside of the description of this video if you're interested in downloading links, uh, aka Jarvis or Rain Meter, as well as some of the skins. I'll go over some of the different themes that I've been using. But this is links, guys. I'll go ahead and introduce you to links. Um, sorry if there's some small performance issues. Like I said, my CPU is running really high for some reason, running off of this encoder. Uh, getting into Listening it enabled. Enable. Hello. Hello. Good evening, Cyber Geeks. What is your name? Lynx. What is my name? Cyber Geeks. What day is it? Saturday. What is the date? May 6th, 2017. What time is it? 10.44 p.m. Show debug window. Hi, debug window. Open Google. Opening Google. Close tab. So guys, this is the official website to download the Mark II or the Mark III. If you all are interested, I'm You can use these commands in Shell tab. Inside of the description, guys. Um, these are other commands that you could use for the Windows operating system. Speech and is now disabled for flyout menu options. Opening system properties. Just one second, guys. Listening disabled. The official website is a one location you can download this. I'm also going to be leaving another link um, for just the 
the EXC direct download if you all want to download that. That is an older version, but you can update the version. As once you download it, it will direct you to update. Um, so you'll be able to update the version as soon as that is installed on your computer. Isn't very important to note, uh, the links that I am leaving down below to download, with, whether you download it from the official website or you download the direct EXE, make sure that you run as, a, as the administrator on the computer. So to do that, you just simply right click on the EXE file and click run as administrator. Uh, let me see if I can do a good example on any of these programs. You just right click and you run as administrator. Make sure you do that and install it system wide. It's going to run a lot smoother as long as it's installed system wide and not per user. Um, it definitely helps because of the directories. It aligns the directories a little bit more convenient for the application to process quicker. But Marks 2, guys, is under development still. It's still being beta tested. And Marks 3 will be released hopefully by the end of the year this year. And there's really cool customization op options that you can do with this software guys you can pretty much create your own your own ai you can you can name it whatever you want you can set up whatever uh type of commands that you want it gives you the option to record your commands and process those, those commands to do whatever you want you can pretty much have it open up a directory or do whatever you want to do but listening enabled play music sure Play next song. Play next song. Pause music. Show languages. This is kind of a look at the interface, guys, and some of the surface settings that you can do. Um, as far as renaming it, you can have the username set to whatever you want. So it addresses you with whatever title you want. You can change the name of the AI to whatever you want. Um, and you can, there's a, a lot you can do with it. You can change the directories. Um, my recommendation is once you download this, definitely read the readme file. Um, there's a lot of important information as far as the installation and the customization there. Because when you're customizing links, guys, you could run into some issues to where you customize links at the core notes and you're changing commands and maybe you overwrite a previous command and you run into problems where you get errors during startup. So typically any person would think, well, I can just uninstall links and then reinstall links and I'll have no problem. Uh, it's unfortunate, guys, it's not going to work for you with this application. The directories are actually located in several spots. Um, just uninstalling links and deleting the directories off your C drive is not going to resolve your issues. The customizable options that you have are actually stored and saved in two separate locations on your drive. Um, and even uninstalling the application and reinstalling it from the exe file is not going to remove this customization. So if you're receiving an error um, and you uninstall, and I just want to make sure I mention this because people might run into this. I know I did personally. And you uninstall, guys, and you reinstall the application, you're still going to get that error. So if you want any information, if that happens to you, on how to completely remove links off of your computer and remove all of those log files uh, for the customization that you set up, just contact me, reach out to me, shoot me a message, and I'll walk you through the process. It's relatively easy depending on how you installed it. Um, the directories are located on one of three spots. So it's pretty easy to do, guys. But Lynx has some pretty useful commands. Like I said, you can play music, you can play videos, you can use it to type by voice if you wanted to. Do Google searches, do Bing searches, um, pretty much anything you want. So anything you want to set up um, links for, you can set up links for. You just set up the voice command and it can open a certain directory or perform a certain task. And if you're a part of the development team, they give you some core tools that will help you as a developer as far as the coding. So if you're interested in that and you have a lot of experience on coding and um, you, have, you think you would be beneficial to this project and you want to help create new directories and new command directories and libraries, for people to download on the website, um, definitely reach out to them for that. Once you create an account and once you download links, you will have the option to submit an application for that. Now, that application takes about three days to be processed, and once it is processed, they will reach out to you via email, and they will ask for um, a little bit of information about yourself, why you want to be a part of the project. and what Listening disabled. So they'll ask you what skills you have and what you can do. 
um, to help and they'll kind of work with you and you can be a part in the process and you'll get an early release of the Mark III. Well, that's pretty much it guys for Lynx or Jarvis. Um, it's running kind of slow right now with my CPU and my encoder live streaming. I wish I could show you all some more features. Listening yeah, enabled. A lot more. Jarvis, move. Move. You Jarvis. can use these commands in shell tab as you wish. All right, he moved. Come back, Jarvis. Jarvis, come back. All right. Play music. Show languages. Show custom. This, this is a list of the preset commands. Pause music. Pause music. This is a list of the custom commands that were set up uh, for the main profile when I downloaded the application. However, you can create your own command directories. You can either fuse those with this, um, you can add a command, or you could add you could add them all to the same main list, or you could have separate. Uh, directories are se separate libraries for the commands that you choose to load depending on what you're choos choosing to work on. It's also important to note guys that you have the option to download libraries uh, for specific questions. So a good example for this would be um, relating to the periodic table of elements. They actually have a section on the website that you can download and upgrade for Mark II and it will give you all of the answers for that. So you just ask about a particular element and it's going to give you all of the information relating to that element and it even lets you cross-reference with other elements to see how they react. So that's something that they're working on with the beta version of Mark III as well under development is adding all of those new directories and all of those new libraries and that bit of information into like one package um, as well as giving you the freedom to create your own commands but this is pretty much all of the the preset commands you get um, and you can customize those as well or create your new you know new commands that you want to open certain directories or perform certain tasks on your computer and it's it's pretty cool play video play video play music yeah, as you all can see my CPUs links is having some issues Stop using. Stop using. All right, guys. So that's the links. Uh, Listening disabled. And the link is in the description for that. Now, for anybody else who is interested in the rain meter, now this is the skin that you see on the back back of my desktop. Rain Meter is an application you can download for Windows that gives you a lot more uh, customization options for your desktop as well as your Windows, etc. Um, and it gives you a lot of different things you can do with it. You can install custom skins, custom layouts, etc. And what I'm using right now is actually a mixture of quite a few. So I've had a lot of questions about this, so I'll go ahead and go over the skins that I downloaded. For anybody who wants to download Rain Meter, the link is in the description of the live stream as well. Just simply click on that, download the exe file, and that will download Rain Meter to your computer. Now you will have uh, just certain skins that come with the base application and certain layouts. If you want to get themes, you can get themes just simply by doing a Google search for Rain Meter themes or going to a place like deviantart.com. Uh, the skins that I am currently using that many people have been asking me about is the Tech PC, which I really like. There's a lot of cool widgets on that, um, as well as the Neon Space and the blue version 0.2. So those are the pr primarily the uh, the widgets and all, all that, that you see in the background right now are off of that. I like my desktop to stay more streamlined and clean. I could definitely customize it to make it look a lot cooler, but I just, I like uh, the more streamlined, clean look, so I, I really didn't want to overload it. But Rain Meter um, gives you the option when you install Rain Meter, just like I said, simply do those Google searches, and you can download the themes, and they download directly to your C drive as well as uh, the it's something called Rain Meter Installer. So once they're installed onto your computer, all you have to do is just right click on the Rain Meter icon and then just simply go to Skins or Layout and you should see the new themes inside of there. And then from there, you can just click on whatever you want really. Like I'll just add a recycling bin really quickly. And it just adds the new widget to the screen. So 
There's thousands of themes out there, guys, thousands of different types of uh, themes and looks you can get for your computer. You can do a simple YouTube search, and you'll see some crazy customizations that people have done with their desktop. That's pretty much all that I have running on this. I know that you all have asked me quite a few, few times um, how I got my background the way it is. It's just the AI Lynx Mark II and the Rain Meter. So I really hope that this guy, this video helped you guys out, and hopefully you all get your desktop customized a little bit. If you all have any questions, just leave them inside of the comment section. And I'll let you guys off here. Appreciate you guys for watching. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.